That is the raw power of the GBU-57, a 12-ton monster known as the Massive Ordnance Penetrator. It's the most powerful non-nuclear bomb in the US arsenal. And it's not made to flatten buildings. It's built to go through them, deep into reinforced bunkers buried underground. A true bunker buster. But why are we talking about this now? Because during Operation Sindhu, when India struck terror sites and military installations in Pakistan, one name kept coming up, Kirana Hills. Thank you for telling us uh, that Kirana Hill houses uh, some nuclear installation. We did not know about it. Okay. And uh, we've not hit Kirana Hills, whatever is there. Officially, the Indian Air Forces denied striking Kirana Hills. In fact, Air Marshal A.K. Bharti even denied knowing that the mountain range hosts underground nuclear storage facilities. But that smoke on his face, it left many unconvinced. Hypothetically, if a strike were to target underground tunnels and bunkers like those believed to exist at Kirana Hills, it would need a bomb like the guided bomb unit 57. Built by Boeing, the GBU-57 is 6 meters long, about half the length of a city bus, and weighs over 13,000 kilos, 2,500 of which is explosive payload. The MOP, as it is popularly known, can penetrate as deep as 60 meters underground. That's the height of your average 20-story building. Now, the MOP isn't the only bomb with bunker-busting capabilities. It's just the deepest reaching and most powerful. India does not have a comparable bomb in its arsenal, but it does have similar technology. During the 2019 Balakot airstrike, for example, India used the Israeli Spice Precision Guided Munitions, designed to explode inside a building rather than outside. The Rafal jets also come equipped with a hammer missile, including its bunker-busting variant. None of this is to say that the Indian Air Force did strike Kirana Hills in Pakistan. After all, Air Marshal A.K. Bharti was quite clear about that, even if it was with a smirk on his face.